I've been hearing so much about Korean skincare and Korean makeup, and it was time for me to finally try some things aside from the few skincare items I have dabbled in at Sephora over the years. If you're interested to see my very first Yes Style haul ever, keep on watching. Hi guys, we're doing a Yes Style haul. I've never shopped at Yes Style before. I've heard fantastic things. Mandy Lee talks about them a lot. Tons of other people do. They have an influencer program that I actually applied for, but for now got rejected. We'll see if the channel grows. If you guys aren't nice enough to continue subscribing, I will try. I think you're allowed to try every 60 days. With the influencer program, I think you get a code where your viewers get 10% off. So for now, I don't have that to offer you guys, but let me show you what I picked up. I picked up both skincare and makeup and I'm really excited to try all of it. We are going to try a few things later on in this video. So this is going to be a mini try on haul as opposed to just a haul. So if you're curious to see which products from what I've purchased are on my face today, then please go ahead and keep watching to the end. Before we get started, if you are new or returning, welcome. For those of you coming back, thank you so, so much for your continued support. And anyone that is new here, hi, my name is Natalia. I'm a concert pianist who loves all things beauty to such an extent that it has gotten me into some trouble, both just with overwhelm of the amount of items that I own, as well as some financial trouble over the years. So I started my YouTube channel in 2020 with a no buy year. And this year I'm trying to navigate the waters of a low buy budget year. It's It's been rough, I do have to admit. And yes, I'm coming at you with a small haul today, but I am trying to find a balance. I am definitely somebody who uses both new and older products in my collection. So if that sounds like something you would enjoy, then I hope you will consider subscribing and joining our frugal family. Now let's check out what I got at Yes Style. Right, let's go through skincare. A lot of these products I have never tried yet, and you'll see me try on just a couple later on in this video, but I was gravitating towards the brand Mizon or Mizon. I heard about it from Mandy Lee. She actually talked about a makeup a product from them that I'm going to show you in a couple of minutes but some skincare looked really interesting and they had like really fun products on sale at the time of course of course everything was on sale if you guys think that I would you know just randomly buy things. Clearly you're new to this channel. So let's start off with the big ticket item. I got a whole skincare set this is the Maison Snail Miniature Set. I keep hearing about snail. I don't want to really think about is it real snail stuff or do they just call it that? We're not going to dwell on that too much because then I'm going to probably have a hard time using this. But they have this snail repairing foam cleanser in here. Then there is a toner, an essence, and an all-in-one moisturizer cream. This, I should have probably dug up the prices. Can we quickly do that? I don't know if the prices are listed. Okay, so I have no idea what I actually paid for this. I would have to probably go back to an email, see if it lists it right now. It's listing this set at $20.90 on their website. I'm so excited to try this. If you have tried Maison or Maison skincare and you have thoughts, please drop them down below in the comments. I would really love to know what are your faves. I didn't end up trying this in the month of June because I purchased this at the very beginning of June because if you guys are aware, I I was doing a 40 before 40 project pan and I'm actually going to be filming the results of that right after this video. So I don't know what you guys are going to see first. You're probably going to see the other video first, but regardless, I bought this over a month ago, but I've been using up all of my skincare from my project pan. So that's why I haven't gotten around to these. Another thing I got, this is all from the same brand, is this Collagen 100 Serum. I should have opened this before, but I didn't even realize it's sealed but let's take a look Ooh, look at that bottle <gasps> that's so pretty i cannot wait oh a siren look at that siren look at the bottle look at the siren hear the siren filming today has been has been all over the place because i've had it's been like a thunderstorm sunshine wild thunderstorming noises cars sirens buses children playing in the hallway of my building it, it it's been We've had it all. Back to this gorgeous bottle. Super excited to try this Collagen 100 product and see what it does for my aging skin. All right, we have another product which is 
from that same snail repair line and this is the eye cream it just comes in a little tube like so and i did try this for the first time today you will see me apply it later on in this video okay i believe that is it for what i purchased i got one skincare item for free from yes style because i registered for the influencer program i believe even if you don't get accepted for the discount they will sometimes like list a couple of products that they give away for free with each order and the only thing is you're obligated to talk about it. you're obligated to review it in a video or an instagram post or whatever so i of course jumped on the chance this is like a thicker treatment lotion kind of very essence like and this is from Rovectin, I believe is the brand. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And this is the Skin Essentials Activating Treatment Lotion. You will see me apply this and talk about this later on in this video. So far, spoiler alert, I am enjoying pretty much everything from this haul that I have tried. All right, and then we have some makeup that I went ahead and picked up. These were all influenced by Mandy Lee here on YouTube. I will link her channel. Going on our Maison Mison streak. I picked up the Snail Repair Intensive BB Cream. I mean, I've got like snail repair head to toe at this point, it seems like. I got this in shade 21. I believe this was the lightest shade they carried on the website at the time. Here's the only thing with Korean makeup. The shade range is awful. It's awful because it is catered, I imagine, to just the multiple skin tones that you would find in Korean culture. I don't believe it goes very dark and I don't believe it actually goes very very pale either. I am pretty lucky I made this work. This is okay for me and I am very very pale but honestly if you are even paler than I you know I, I sometimes things can be too too light for me so if you're really 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 pale where you have to go like to the zero zero colors usually this might be a touch dark. If you're light to medium I'm sure that you can find shades in the Korean ranges but anything on either side of that gets really tricky unfortunately all right and then the last two products I picked up are both from juicy pang I just realized I actually still have the packaging so the BB cream came in this box I'm not gonna put the product back in the box I'm not gonna be that youtuber that like puts everything back in the box just to show you guys and then the two juicy pang blushers that I picked up came in these adorable beautiful boxes the colors of the boxes are sort of similar to the colors of the product but not exact to be honest. So this is the Juicy Pang Jelly Blusher. So the Jelly Blusher looks like so. I got the shade Plum. They have these numbers on the website. This was PK01 and here's the color. Here I'll swatch it for you guys right there. And I have been really enjoying this blush. Spoiler alert, you will see me apply it. You'll see me talk about it some more and why I like it, the pros and the cons of honestly both of these. So the water blusher, the Juicy Pang water blusher is like this and it is very liquidy. So let's see if I can do this without spilling. Where am I gonna put it? Let's put it right there. Yeah, so you guys can see it's like a very liquidy formula. Let's use a clean finger and just blend that out a little bit so you guys can see the two blushes that I picked up. One, of course, is definitely a liquid blush. The other one is more of a cream putty style blush. And that is everything that I got over at Yes Style. So why don't we jump in and you guys can see me apply some of the products and then I'm gonna come back and just give you guys a couple of final thoughts. Welcome to my bare face. You should have just seen my first Yes Style haul. I decided now to try some of these products on with you guys. A couple of these things, makeup things, I have already used a few times so I can give you guys some thoughts and then the skincare stuff I really have not used except for one product and we're gonna actually start with that product that's this Rovectin Skin Essentials activating treatment lotion you can see it's like a it's not like a toner consistency because it's a little bit thicker but it's not quite like a serum either I feel like it's somewhere in between I mean it does have more of that essence feel so I guess hence the treatment lotion and I have been really liking it so far I've probably used it oh I don't know I want to say 
Sorry, it's gonna be noisy. It's the middle of the afternoon in Brooklyn. There's a lot of cars and things happening. Let me put my hair up before we keep going. I know, super glamorous. So yeah, I basically what I do, cause it is slightly thicker and you need so little. I have used this probably about eight times so far. So I just do three of these like thicker drops. The only thing is it doesn't really come out easily cause it's one of these bottles that is a very thin thick plastic so you can't bend it you can't do anything to it and you have to if anything just shake it down so you can see the consistency it's runny but not like water so i pat this or glide this over my face and it's very thin and very smooth going on it is a teeny bit sticky at first but it's so minute i feel like after just even a minute I mean, yeah, I guess there's still like a teeny bit of something that you feel on your face. But this is an essence, so you're gonna put other things over it. So I don't feel like that's that big of a deal. So yeah, I've been really enjoying this so far. This was the product I got complimentary from Yes Style because I tried signing up for their influencer program. I didn't get accepted for that because I'm just too small, but I believe I'm still eligible to get one free product a month with an order. So of course I'm not going to be taking advantage of that every month because I don't really want to be placing a monthly order from Yes Style. I think you have to spend like $40 to get a free product or something like that. And I could be wrong. I'm still learning. This is my very first time buying anything from Yes Style. But yeah, I thought since I haven't tried anything yet from this Maison, a Maison brand, and that's kind of what I focused on this time around, I thought that I would just go in here and use the moisturizer. So in the set, if you guys might remember, there's a cleanser, a toner, an essence, and this all-in-one snail repair cream. I haven't used any of these products yet, so this is going to be a really first, first impression. Okay, so it's more of like a gel cream. Doesn't really have a scent. It has kind of like that skincare, no scent scent. And I'm just gonna take a little bit from the cap it's got like a very nice, slightly thicker gel consistency. We're just gonna work it into the skin. Ooh, it's very light. It just glides, glides and absorbs so quickly into the skin. I really like this for the summer, especially, even though I have dry combo skin. For the summer, this is perfect. Okay. And then with the rest of these products, I'll come back and update you guys in a future video. I keep meaning to start doing favorites or something like that, even if it's just seasonal, because with my filming schedule, I just don't get to do things monthly like other people. But yeah, I would like to maybe try this eye cream. I did use an eye cream earlier today, but hey, it's just a squeezy tube. Let's see together. Uh-huh, it's just a nice white cream. So we're just gonna take a little bit. Also, so lightweight and no scent, same no scent scent. So far, that's been the biggest pro of these few Korean skincare products that I've tried and other Korean skincare that I've tried in the past from Sephora is they are pretty lightweight, which is so nice, especially in this weather. So, so far, all really nice hits. Now let's get to the makeup. I'm going to let this sit for a minute or two and then prime my skin with my Touch and Soul Glassy because it is in my project pan. And then I'm really excited to try this Maison Snail Repair Intensive BB Cream together with you guys. I have already used this a few times, so I'll give you some of my thoughts as we go. And then I've also used already both of these Juicy Pang blushers. I figured I would put them up one against the other. So we'll see. I might even do one on one cheek, one on the other. Okay, I'm armed and ready to go. I have my primer on and we are going to go ahead and put some directly on the sponge and apply this. I am not going to conceal these blemishes today. I just want you guys to see how this works. I have used this a few times and so far, and we'll see if you guys can tell on camera but so far my biggest pro of this is it does have some coverage which i tend to like in a bb cream i have decent enough skin except of course 
when I'm breaking out, but I don't feel like I have good enough skin to go for like those really, really light, airy tints that basically do virtually nothing for me. So I like the coverage of this. However, I do find that for my dry skin and just for my preference, where I do prefer that my foundations look more on the dewier side, I find that this is just a tiny bit too flat for me. So I would say this is probably a true natural finish. If you like that, you will love this. As long as you can find your shade because that is the one thing we know with Korean makeup. They do not cater to all skin tones. And while I understand that, I guess to some degree, because I would imagine in Korea, there is, you know, a different demographic than say somewhere like New York. I feel like by now, Korean makeup has really gotten out there on the global scale. So I really wish they would start catering to more skin tones. I put a little bit more, as you guys saw right here, where I have a blemish, the redness from a blemish that is not going away yet. And then I have just one layer on so far on my forehead. And then I'm just going to put a teeny tiny bit down my neck just to even it all out. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's nice right now because I have an essence and a moisturizer and a pretty hydrating primer. I actually really am liking the finish, but the longer I will go into the day where my skincare will get fully soaked into my skin, it will become like a true natural finish, which for me personally tends to be just a tiny bit too not matte because it is natural but it's just a tiny bit flat like it's, it just looks a little lifeless not like fully hydrated and plump i'm just gonna try to put a little bit more here on my forehead just to see if that helps with that redness from the blemishes we're gonna leave that there and then i think i think i'm gonna right away go in with the blush because those are really the only things i have in this mini try on haul to show you guys and then i'll go off camera finish off my makeup and we can wrap things up this is the most exciting part for me. This is kind of what I was the most looking forward to when I placed this order. Ooh, it's getting really dark out there. I wonder if it's gonna like thunderstorm or something. So I have already tried both of these and I'm going to do the water blusher on this side, the jelly blusher on this side, and hopefully you guys will see what my thoughts are so far as we go along. So this one is much more liquidy, hence water blusher. So what I've been doing is I've been applying quite a bit to my cheek directly and then I prefer usually to use a sponge. I'm gonna try today to do one of these, the Duo Fiber brushes, because that's what I've been using for the jelly one. And I've had more success as far as pigment staying on my skin, because I feel like if I put this water blusher on and then go in with a sponge, it just disappears. I wanna see what this does. I feel like maybe I can get a little more pigment with a Duo Fiber. I can see it's there, but it is so light. It is dewy though, which I like. I like that part of it. But of course, a lot of it ended up staying on the brush. I wonder if I just need a regular brush for this and not a duo fiber. Let's try different things. Let's add a little more and maybe do... I don't like doing fingers. Really don't like doing fingers. So we're gonna do the sponge. Maybe I will do first a little fingers just to start blending it into my skin so it doesn't all soak into the sponge and then yeah because that to me is just too like it's still sitting on the skin and now i want to press it into the skin so there we are i don't know can you guys see that i feel like most of it has already disappeared whereas with the jelly one and we're going to do the same thing we're going to take a duo fiber brush I have an e.l.f. one and a Laura Geller one. I actually have several of these e.l.f. ones, but the other one I've been using with this blush a lot and I didn't want to use a dirty one with you guys. And then I start really lightly because this one definitely does have more pigment. So I don't know if you guys can tell the difference with the dark clouds and all but I find that this has a tiny bit more pigment, but this one does look a little bit more dewy. I wish I could combine the two, and honestly, 
I have been doing that. So once I show you guys them separately, I might layer one on top of the other. What I love, even though usually I'm not really a scent person, I prefer to have no scent rather than a strong scent, but I've been really enjoying the scent of this water blusher. It's almost like a, like a fruity scent, like a berry scent. Can't quite place it if it's a strawberry or what it is, but I find it to be delicious. All right, so that's where we're at with them separately. But I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to apply some of the water blusher here and some of the jelly blusher here just to even things out and also to show you guys how they layer on top of each other. So this is the jelly one over the water one. And I can't remember if I mentioned when I did the haul portion of this video, I do have the water blusher in fig and then I have the the jelly blusher in plum. They are very similar in tone though, so I feel like they're almost interchangeable. All right, I'll do the same thing. I'll go in with the fingers first. Let's see, it's kind of like sitting on top of the skin. And then we're gonna blend it in, which means of course the sponge is gonna pick up a good chunk of it, but we're left with a little bit of glow, which I am all about. And that is the two blushes combined on both of my cheeks. Yeah, so I think out of... Ugh, there's children playing outside, screaming, screaming. Can you hear that? These kids. I've been absolutely loving the Jelly Blusher. So this one again is in Plum. I've been using this nonstop. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's been my favorite blush throughout the month of June and July. And I have definitely given this one a go quite a few times as well. I'm loving the smell, loving the dewiness, but I either just use this one if I don't have time to be mixing blushes or I just go in with both. I rarely use this on its own. I just don't think it's enough. Sometimes what I'll do is I will go in with this and then put a teeny bit of powder blush over it because of course that's gonna stick. It kills some of the dewiness but a little bit still pops through. So far, I would have to say my Yes Style haul definitely has been overall a success, but let me go put on the rest of my makeup and I'll come back and we can just go through some of my final thoughts. All right, so this is the final look. I've put on the rest of my makeup and let's quickly go over everything that I tried today from this Yes Style mini try on haul. The Revectin treatment lotion that you saw me put on first, I've been really enjoying this. I'm loving the smooth texture, very airy, just glides right on the skin, sinks in very quickly. So, so nice. Similar with the cream, the snail, the Maison Snail All Repair Cream, the all-in-one. Gel texture, super lightweight, perfect for summer. And then along that same thread, if you guys remember, the eye cream, even though it was more of that white creamy consistency, went on so light, sunk into my skin almost immediately. Really, really liked it. And I liked how my concealer and my makeup applied onto my base today. So that was great. And then as far as the makeup, we tried on the Maison Snail Repair BB Cream. I have it in shade 21. That's the only thing is, of course, the range. If you're the palest of the pale or a dark skin tone, you probably won't find a shade in this, which is a bummer. I hope that Korean makeup, now that it's becoming more global, will expand. But you can see, I mean, it is really warm in this room, so I'm already sweating profusely. I put down a little teeny bit of powder. So for now, I am actually dewy. I mean, I remember the other times I've worn it, it wasn't this warm because I'm sitting in a small enclosed space with the sun beating down at me and no AC because it would make too much noise. Usually, the finish is a little bit too natural and not doing enough for me, but today I've got all the natural sweat doingness happening. So I'm definitely excited to keep using that. And then if you remember during the try on haul, I already basically told you guys, this is my favorite, the jelly one. The water one I am enjoying, but it just soaks up too much product when I use a sponge. And that is my preferred method of applying it. I just find that the fingers kind of leave the product hanging on top of the skin. It doesn't push it in enough. So I'll have to keep using this and see what are the best application methods. But definitely this so far is my favorite. Other 
than that, I feel like there's something else I wanted to tell you guys, but I actually just filmed already this part of the video. I just forgot to press record. I hope I didn't leave anything else out. would love to hear your thoughts and whether you've tried some Korean skincare and makeup because honestly, this first haul has convinced me that I need to keep my eye out. I'm really enjoying everything so far, but I want to know what your favorites are so that I can keep my eyes peeled for future sales and whatnot. And other than that, I really hope you enjoyed this. I hope you like the look that I came up with at the end. I do have a beach cosmetics palette on my eyes. That video will be coming in the future. So stay tuned for that. I will link it down below as soon as it goes live. And just one more reminder to please subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope that you guys are all doing really, really well. I hope that you're continuing to stay safe and healthy. Take care of yourselves and those around you. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye guys.